In season three of Hunting Purgatory, the crew has captured many terrifying and unexplainable events on camera. What's up? Today, we will be taking a look at the most shocking and downright horrifying moments that would be hard to believe if they weren't recorded. So sit back, turn off the lights, and join us as we go through the creepiest top 10 countdown of paranormal activity you have ever seen. Number 10. Be careful what you wish for. During a lightning storm on the 13th floor of the haunted Biltmore Hotel, the team conducts a Ouija board session in attempts to communicate with the ghost of a deceased mobster known as Fatty Walsh. While asking questions to the board, something terrifying happens. Is there any part of your energy that still resides here? Colton's nose suddenly begins to bleed. Dude, he really has a fucking nosebleed right now. <coughs> Later, while asking questions using the device known as the spirit box, balloons in the downstairs living quarters mysteriously come untied and float to the ceiling on their own. Is this a coincidence, or did the spirit of Fatty Walsh give them what they were looking for? Number 9. Knock Knock While investigating the home of two deceased sisters, the unthinkable happens. During the night while members of the team are sleeping, Colton is awoken to the sound of a phone ringing from within his room. As he wakes up to check, Tanner and Casey are woken to a knocking sound upstairs. What the f was that? Hello? As Colton checks the phone, strangely, there is no phone cable connected. I saw that the phone was unplugged. There was no telephone cord leading to it. There was no outlet that the power plug was plugged into. And then this happens. Yo, Cole. Yo, Casey. Yeah. Casey, look. Oh, sh What the f dude? What, what the f What would you do in this situation? Continue filming or run for your life? Number eight, interrupted transmission. While exploring a canyon outside of Area 51, the team has to climb, jump, and squeeze through rocks to reach their destination. While going deeper into the caves, they begin hearing sounds as if they're being followed. There's like a big rustle. Right around the corner. Hello? Anybody there? Once they are at the bottom, they begin to run the spirit box, and then this happens. It's just static. Nothing. Yeah. What the f Yeah. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah. Dude, I've never heard a fucking box make that noise. Their transmission is being interrupted by a strange squealing sound. Same shit. What the And hell? suddenly, a strange light appears shining down from above the canyon. What the fuck is that? Look at the floor. Look. It's like lightning like falling on the floor and shit. Look. I have no idea. 
It's lighting me up. I can fucking... Insane. All of a sudden, it was gone. The light just disappeared. The speaker on the spirit box, it just cut off pretty much at that point. As they exit the caves, Casey is greeted by something in the shadows. What the fuck is that? What, what, what? Something's in there, bro. What? I don't know. I, something just moved across right here. Oh, what the fuck? Was this an animal? If so, what kind of animal would be this deep in the canyons? Or maybe, just maybe, there was something unearthly following them after all. Number seven, the ungodly. The old Yorktown Hospital in Texas is known to be haunted by many visitors. While a team is investigating, they separate to run some tests and are all met with strange encounters. Okay, this is a lot. Hey guys. Certain places warn not to use Ouija boards as the results oftentimes turn out bad. The team disregards the warning and decides to use the Ouija board in the church of the hospital. We were told not to use a Ouija board in this place. But we want to communicate with you. Can you give us some kind of movement? These guys are insane to put that board on a, on a church, like a sacred altar like that, and obviously it was gonna stir something up. Is the entity that moved the door in the toy room present with us now? What happens next is heart stopping. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? Something non-human begins to make a sound from behind them. I heard this extremely low, weird, like, laugh. What the fuck is that? What the fuck was that? The crew decides oh. enough is enough and packs up going, to man. leave the hospital. I think I'm ready to get out of here, dude. I think I am too, honestly. Number six, night terrors. While investigating a home believed to have aggressive poltergeist activity, the team sets up cameras and spends the night. While sleeping, something can be seen messing with one of the investigators. no recollection of moving at all during the night and was shocked to see the footage. That isn't something that I would do in my sleep on my own. Uh, it's scary. It's honestly scary when you see something like that. 
What would you do if you saw a video of something pulling you from your bed during the night? Number 5. Lost Little Girl A haunted Airbnb named the Pink Rosebud has had reports of paranormal activity going on for quite some time. Many guests who have stayed reported seeing the spirit of a little girl, and while the team is outside filming footage of the home, they caught this. After deciding to do an investigation here, the two team members are interrupted several times by what sounds like laughter. Big windows, lots and lots of time spent. Hey, 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 hey. Big windows, lots and lots of time spent. Hey, 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 hey. Then, their static cameras record a very strange sequence of events. I wasn't sure if I was dreaming or not. I was a little bit disoriented. Sometimes you might hear a bang and you think, was that part of my dream or was that around me right now? And uh, I tried to figure out where it was coming from. I didn't know. Oh. Number 4. Cold Footprints During Christmas, a family encounters a number of strange activities within their home. When two members of the team investigate the home, they are greeted by some strange events. There it is. Oh, it's a little bit warm in here. When we first got the email about this home, we spoke with the owner, and the owner had told us that she left with her family around Christmas time. They had so much activity going on, that it was so unsettling they couldn't even be in the home. Uh, it has like over a thousand phrases, I think. Uh-huh. Oh. What? Uh, it has like over a thousand phrases, I think. Uh-huh. Oh. What? Dude, that's literally instant fucking heart attack. We decided this place felt like a good candidate for a blind spear box session, and he knows how strongly I feel about doing the blind spear box, so he went ahead and did that, and I went down in the basement asking questions on the walkie-talkie. As he asks Colton questions through a walkie-talkie from the basement, he is interrupted by a sound from upstairs. Is there more than one entity in this house? But nothing could prepare them for what Casey is about to discover.
wet footprints, which appear to be following him into the basement. Visit you. Coming from the bathroom by the kitchen towards the basement where I was. Find us. I mean, it's like barely visible, but that's like a wet footprint. Number three, flashing lights. Another home plagued by paranormal activity. They have captured something moving items and trashing their home on security cameras. But whatever it is, it can't be seen. During the investigation, the team is interrupted several times by what sounds like people running around the house. That's definitely footsteps. It sounded like something rolling almost, too. It's right here. But nothing as crazy as what you were about to see. Objects thrown around the kitchen. Phantom lights flashing. But most shocking. A figure caught in the midst of it all. Number two, it came through the window. A woman claimed her home was being haunted by something that was leaving claw marks all around the house. She even gave the entity a name. She calls it Scratch. The team agrees to spend the night to try and contact the entity and finds a number of disturbing events. Right here. There's no power outlets anywhere. There's no like, power in the wall. Okay. Oh, dude. The shark remains of something. We're here to communicate with you. Can you light this up? Oh, that's close. Can you light this up? Those things are steep. Oh, shit, big case. Oh, fuck, are you good? Felt like something literally just slapped the EMF detector out of my hand. Oh, shit, big case. Oh, fuck, are you good? At one point, one of their devices emits the word scratch. It's kind of chirping again, too. Oh, what is this, Rome? Scratch. Scratch. Oh, no. Scratch? I literally, dude, look at my arm. I just got goosebumps. When the obelisk said scratch, I felt every hair in my body stand up, like an electrifying feeling of contact with something else. Scratch. Later, when the team is settling in for bed, a large crash is heard on the roof above them. It literally sounded like a bomb went off. 
When I woke up, my heart was racing and it made me feel even more uneasy to know that the guys heard it too. It sounded almost like a wrecking ball was dropped onto the roof. When they investigate what made the noise, pure fear rushes over the team. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you heard that, right? Scratching, Scratching yeah. can be heard, and they notice a window suddenly opens on the roof. Hold on. What's up with that? Dude, you don't see shit in the yard. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait, 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 wait. The scariest part of all, when they check the hallway to the window, it appears as if the screen was kicked in. Oh, fuck. Meaning something must have been coming inside rather than going out. How, dude? Look at that. Number one, it's got me. The number one video on this list has been circulating top fives across the internet. The team investigates a hunting lodge where a horrible accident has occurred. While it seems there is not much activity to investigate going on in the lodge, everything changes as they are walking into the basement. On our way down to the basement for the yes no test, I would say I tripped, but I it didn't feel like I tripped. I fell, and it felt like my legs, like my lower legs, got hooked, and I I got my feet ripped out from under me. Tanner claims something pulled his feet out from under him, but as he's trying to comprehend what just happened, this happens. Dude, you good? Dude, shit! What the fuck? There is no way to describe the feeling of witnessing events like these, but at least it was all caught on film. So next time you hear a bump in the night coming from the dark depths of your hallway, is it really your house just settling or is there something evil settling into your house? If you enjoy these scary videos, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you never miss a scare. Also, if you're interested in cool monthly giveaways and a chance to join the team on an investigation, be sure to check out their Patreon page listed in the description. See you next time on Mindseed TV. Okay, lights, cameras, action, bitch, let's roll. Skulls on the banners, I'm the one producing these shows. Got my dogs, I'm with Tanner, and we hunting down these goals. On the road, hunting phantoms, spirit box with live holes. Yeah, poltergeist, it gets cold. Yeah, see my breath is like snow. Yeah, EMF, it might go. Yeah, beach board is so dope. Yeah, cameraman, we got cold. Yeah, static camera got those. Yeah, talking to the dead souls. Yeah, see a demon get froze. Yeah. Uh, 
along for this new shit. Season three, it goes stupid. We love the fans, but the truth is, we on the road to produce shit. And it takes time to make movements. So those that hate could enjoy the wait, but when we drop the tape, they gon' tune in. I'm done with games, boy, I'm tuned in. I'm turning up, yeah, we zoomed in.